Hey guys, it's Nicole. I'm here with my friend Rami. We are at Radio City Music Hall. And like every red-blooded American, we're obsessed with Beyonce. Obsessed. Specifically, her March 2013 Vogue cover, which is amazing, perfect, flawless, like everything that she does. And Rami is going to get that for myself. And you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I already prepped your skin. We just created like a very even veil. She's known for like very natural makeup, very polished but there's always like a focus feature, so it's her eyes. So we're gonna prep your eyes. Okay. Um, it's just like a really neutral kind of palette. It's more about the liner, kind of retro, you know, with the little wing. Love it. All right, let's get into it. Besides prepping your skin, I just did a little zhuzh to your hair. She's having a little bit of a hair moment. A little bit of a retro moment on that cover. Yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> So I'm just applying this creamy shadow just like all over the lid. Whenever you're doing your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, your skin, just make sure everything's really blended. So I'm just gonna grab like a really fluffy kind of tapered brush mm -hmm. and just use like a neutral color, kind of like a medium taupe brown. I'm just gonna kind of dance that brush back and forth. Like Beyonce? Yeah. A little single lady moment <laughs> in, that, in that socket, if you will. The look, it's pretty timeless. A very strong eye mm -hmm. without having to do too much on it. So I'm just gonna prep with a little bit of liner, cold pencil, just so we have like a nice little outline trace once we go in with the liquid. Let's have a kiki. What did you think of the documentary? I was hoping for a little bit more. I was I hoping know, for a little bit of a deeper look into her real life, not sitting on a couch talking to a reporter. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I mean, I, I die for her, but I wasn't into it. What would you do if you saw Beyonce in the grocery store? Throw up. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, actually, I don't really get that starstruck. I mean- I think she's one that I would- She's, she's, I would, I would I gag. Would. What are you using on my eye? I'm using a gel liner, which is kind of between the liquid and an old school like cake liner. You just have a little bit more control. Okay. So I'm just taking an angle brush and just kind of building up the product on both sides. It gets like really tight, so you have some control there. Okay. And I'm literally starting from the outer corner and kind of like painting it into the lashes. Because it doesn't matter if it hits the base of your lash. We're just gonna coat that with mascara anyways. I'm feeling it. <laughs> So will this stay on, like normal? Yeah, this is um, waterproof, this gel liner. Perfect. Yeah, so this will definitely take you into the evening if you wanna... Go out with Jay-Z. <laughs> exactly, if you wanna go to 4040. <laughs> if it's not perfect, you can always just take a Q-tip with either moisturizer or makeup remover, and you can just really clean up that line. If you want like a really tight, sharp line, just take another angle brush and just clean it up. All right, so the bottom liner, it's like a disconnected, winged out look. Mm -hmm. Just really opens up the eyes. I'm gonna use powder this time. And it'll also give you a little bit of a softer look. I'm just gonna start from the outer edge and work my way in right into the lash line. Same kind of brush. Just kind of connect the dots and just press it into a line. If you want to accentuate it later, we can always add black. You know, you always want to start off light because you can always add more. I want to bump up that bottom liner. Okay. I'm gonna use um, a pencil instead. Why do you rub it on your hand before you use it? I don't want to use the actual shape of the pencil. I still want to use the brush. So I'm going to build it up on my hand, kind of warm it up so there's a little bit more fluidity to it. So it's like pliable and you can play with it. Kind of like what we did with the gel liner, mm -hmm. but it's not going to give me as much of a wet look as the gel. I'm just going to trace right on top of that shadow. Awesome. Just to complete that look, um, and give it more of a mod feel, we're gonna use a white pencil. Okay. So I'm just kind of dancing that brush back and forth on the white pencil, and I'm just gonna sandwich that right in the middle. And this adds contrast too, so the top and bottom graphic liner really pops. All right, let's get some mascara going. My favorite part, mascara. Ah, live for mascara. Don't be afraid to get that wand in there. All right, girl. Let's get after those brows. So I started off with a little bit of shadow, mm -hmm. just to add a little bit of depth. I'm gonna create a little bit more shape with a brow pencil. So I'm literally starting right near the arch, because I don't want the head of the brow to look too blocky or full on. No chola brow. Bad news. 
I heard a great thing about eyebrows, and it kind of changed my life. Yeah. You want sisters, not twins. Yep, 100%. Right? And then just bring down that tail. And then in between, I always just kind of brush it just to soften up the color. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, dimension like around the face. So we're gonna do a little cheek, a little lip, bring a little color back in. So I'm gonna start off with a bronzer just to kind of hug the cheekbone. Okay, want me to make a face? <laughs> so I'm literally just hitting it with the sun naturally would hit. Okay. Just to bring a little bit of warmth to the skin. So now that you look like you just got back from Bronznia, we're gonna add a little bit of color. Shade a little bit more of like a taupey kind of apricot cheek. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play that up, just right on the apple of the cheek, and then just kind of fan it out towards the center. Not so full on back here, because we already contoured a little bit with that bronzer. I'm just kind of tapping it on and then blending it outward. Almost there. Almost there. We're gonna complete the look with the lip. We already prepped your lips with some lip conditioner, so that's really nice and prepped. By the time we use lip liner, everything will go on a lot smoother. Your lip color will stay on a lot longer. So we're taking the liner and just filling your whole lip in with it. Make sure you always take the liner into the corner of the mouth, too. We're going to fill the rest of the lip in with the lipstick. It's uh, pretty true to the color that she wore on the cover. It's kind of like a apricot honey color. And you can blend that right into the lip liner. Like you can wear this for day or night or with any, any eye look. You have a little bit more control when you're using the brush. We can blend and kind of marry everything together and it looks more polished that way rather than just taking the stick full on the lip. I want to use the same pencil, the white, that we filled in in the inner corner, but on the inner rim to give you a little bit more of a mod look. And that'll really open up the eyes. Great for a hangover. If you're ever bloodshot. Ooh, yeah. good tip. All right, Lady Cakes, let's take a look. Ooh. What do you think? I think that I look exactly like Beyonce. I think we captured... I think, I think you are Beyonce, <laughs> officially. I feel like we captured the look on the cover of Vogue. We did more of an eye focus with a graphic liner, kind of retro, a little mod. I feel like we captured your we inner did. Beyonce. We did. What do you think? We did. I'm ready. Thank you.